that is the reason why there is transference of spirits. You begin to have spiritual husband, spiritual wife, you begin to bruise him. Sexual sin break your hedge of protection and invite demons from the marine kingdom to control your life with passion to do more. You enter fornication, you enter masturbation, you enter into, into phonography, the passion to do more will always be there because you are no longer yourself. You are under a serious bondage. The battle now begin. Prayer now begin. What way you can defend your gates? Why do you open it for the devil in the first place? So you are learning how to defend. How to defend. How to defend now. Sexual sin is eating the forbidden fruit, which attract causes from God and slavery to Satan. You must watch it with all of your heart. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18 to 20. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit? Who is in you? And who you have received from God? You are not your home. Say, I'm, say I'm not your home. I'm not my home. I'm not my own. You were bought at a price. That is the blood of Jesus. Therefore, honor, honor God, God with your with body. Your if you are willing and obedient, congratulations. If you say, just no sort here, honor no sort here. When your calamity comes, he said, you will call upon me and I will not answer. Oh, oh, oh. God said I will not answer. There is even between consequence and forgiveness. Forgiveness is cheap. You just fornicate now. Hey, daddy, forgive me. I'm sorry. God will say, I'm forgiving you. But no sinner will go unpunished. Go and study Genesis to Revelation. God is not respectful of anyone. No, Moses will have escaped it. God is not respectful of anybody. It's not respect of anybody. David, the man after his heart, faced the consequence. That's why he prayed for forgiveness. And God said, Nathan, go and tell him that I'm forgiving him. The cause still remains till today over here. Come to New Testament, the of Old Testament. But above, God said he must suffer what he did. That's why he gave his life to Jesus. He cried at the point, Lord, please take this thought out of my flesh. God said, My grace is sufficient for you. You don't chop mouth, you don't chop and clean mouth before God. There is a consequence. And you must watch that. You must watch that. Please, let me just spend my last minute with this. Understanding sexuality, the way this thing is working, I want you to learn it. This is the primary thing I want to communicate with you. You've learned the consequence, the major consequence of sexual immorality is its own destiny. Sweet destiny. Genesis chapter 1. God created us. Sex is divine. It's natural. But timing. But what? Timing. Huh? Timing. It's timing. It's timing. Sexual activities are puberty. You see a lot of things that happen to you. And I want to know something. The picture that you see when you see your changes begin to happen from kids' body to adult body, you see hair coming out of your body, you understand? You see your voice changing, you see the voice changing, you see the kind of putting on weight, you know, then you see it kind of the, the, the heartbeat, the odor begin to come, and uh, you see, but this, the truth is that these things are normal. Now, what makes that normal is what I want to talk about. There is a tennis screen here called estrogen and testosterone. When you don't understand this, brother, so you know how to control it. When it's doing you kish kish, it will not make you to destroy somebody's life. Sister, you get to supermarket, worry apple, what did they get? Somebody cut apple, half of it, no one dropped it. Will you buy it? So if they allow them to eat part of your apple, it's dangerous. So woman that that will last you. What happened? When estrogen manifests in girls, there are a lot of features, the changes. There are a lot of questions. Question number one, she's confused. 
Number two, she's emotional. It's normal. Sex drive come naturally. And she asks herself, am I normal? Am I different? These are the things that happen in any teenager that growing up. The question of life. Now, all these questions, she's confused. Begin to see certain changes. Emotional. She's beginning to have a feeling. At that, girl, at that time, the girl is expecting somebody to just hold her. Then, the kind of sexual thing is like, the thing is coming up. I just have a feeling like this. Come for me, come for me, come for me. And as I'm saying, you wait the devil. Devil, I hate you. Then the question is, am I normal? A lot of people will go, Jesus, we pray, yeah. I don't know what's going to be with me. Who do I join? You the devil. You strengthen to me. And this time, the estrogen or estrogen is a steroid or more produced mainly in the ovaries of girls that stimulates esterols and the development of female secondary sexual characteristics. Now, what happened to this estrogen? A big question. Let me just say this. Confusion is number one. She's confused. Listen very carefully. When you are confused, she needs help. Truly, she needs somebody to help. Then the question is, who comes first? That's where the problem of many people come. Talokoko introduced a lot of information. I showed you on my home. When I was exposed to sex, thank God for my mother, who came first to give me right information, to give me right education. Is it light that God or darkness? Don't forget, I told you there are two content, there are contention over your sexuality. Is it God good thing that comes first or evil thing? Is it God or devil? Or enemy? Who comes first? Is it is it is it shepherd or wolf? And no, we all do share that in a bed like that there. Or more should we go by here? Is it pastor? We have some pastor like that. They will tell you yes. You know, pastor is supposed to have you for that is your first fruit. We have a lot of lies. Who oh, come on? Is he a mother or mother? I'm saying peace. Some mother, they are the one that destroyed the foundation of their children. Is he a father or father? Baba, don't teach you, don't teach you now. Who come first? Who come first? Now, emotional. She need touch to be sincere. At that time, this girl needs somebody to just, you know, touch her, love and care. It's one of the natural things. It's natural. She doesn't really need sex. Unfortunately, on the other way around, the brother, his whole chemistry was sex. It's sex. So it affects. Now, the body sensation will arise at this time. The body the sensation arise. What happened? The Lord designed it that way as we are coming to that puberty. He designed it that way. Not for admire. Somebody to say, wow, you are looking beautiful because she was being confused. So you want somebody to just say, wow, you are looking good. Sometimes when you don't see anybody say you are looking, you just do a ear star. You understand? It's natural. You want somebody to talk about it, two of us. And so wrong. Wow, I like your ear star. You may have to hear. It's natural. If nobody talk, you will go and face your bed. That only room is sherry. How is my hair? You just want somebody to talk. You understand? And when you don't see anybody that talk, you know you will force. It's natural. These are the things the boys that have the understanding they will now use to trap you. Now they get to wow. Huh? 
that your smile alone. Yeah. Ah, I was ah. You know, and the thing is, enter into that of all, capturing you, capturing you. Love for admire and uh, quest for boyfriend. This is what open you to boyfriend. So listen very carefully. This is normal to the system, but you don't give it what it requires. It's required. That's where discipline comes. Then there is going to be fear and a kind of shyness, and that shyness makes you to begin to withdraw certain information to your parents or somebody that you know will give you right information. But when devil is involved, Obarogo, devil will talk. You will just want to introduce somebody that will mislead you at this point. She needs motivation. And um, we see that in first Corinthians. It needs motivation with that emotional. And number three is sex. When that hormone comes out, listen everybody. Girls in the house, say amen. amen. This hormone secrets naturally in a female once in a month. That's how God designed it. Once in a month. And there is a fee for that sex at that one time. The moment that hormone is going down, you will have a feeling for sex. The feeling is natural. The hormone climax with sexual urge. With sexual urge. And uh, can I have that continue with you? Once a month, unfortunately, many have made them they are hold more than once. They have stimulated it to be more. Even RF can pay his own can be twice in a day. If you don't think by year in a day. For God created that thing to happen once in a month. It's natural. Some they now, one way or the other, work upon themselves and develop the urge to continue with photography, with masturbation, with sexual talk, and the like. So they are out of the will of God. There was a play, there was an advert just of recent, a man that said he needs someone that will be, that will marry a daughter, and he will be giving the person 175,000 per month to marry a daughter. And the question is, how to marry we now have 175,000? Do you know the problem of the girl? She cannot do without having sex almost five times in a day. Okay. So they need a man that they oh, will, what they will engineer to do that. We have one like that when I was in school. Her name, we gave her a name. Aptico. Yeah. And we don't we don't, we don't the student don't know her real name. We call her Aptico. What's the meaning of Aptico? Apotioko. She, she can't do without sex. And what God created was not that. But because at the tender age, she has broken the hedge. She has lost, she has affected the system God created in her. The troubled water then the question comes, am I normal? Am I different? Should I try it? The same way it's coming to you, whether you like it or not, that is the psychology. Then, what are other girls doing? They will begin to sample opinions from your friends. Ah, we will not worry, we worry. Check out, for what you will you'll you be, don't allow them to teach you nonsense. That's why you are hearing the right information now. Because there are a lot of lies. I have, I have, I have it here. Some of the sex lies. They introduce drug to you. Introduce alcohol to you. They introduce masturbation to you. Introduce a lot of things. What are the opinion of other girls? Don't go by those opinions. Please, if your mother is godly enough, involve your mother. Do you have pastor's wife that are godly and moral? Involve them, talk to them. Talk to them. 
Now, over to you boys. Boys. The effect of testosterone in boys. Let me see what I can do here. Because this, in boys, we have the chemistry. What is that? Testosterone. The one in the female is called what? Estrogen. Okay. Testosterone is the same that happens in the system of man and it has four major things. Listen, the first thing is erection. Let me tell you this. There is a science that proves that your man would live on his own accord while you live on another level. So sometimes, erection may come not because there is any sexual attraction. You can wake up and find your and find erection. It's normal. And when this almost secret in male is start with sexual hurt. When it's secret in female, it ends with sexual hurt. Do you understand? That moment, the boy is looking for what we going to say. The whole begins with sexual hurt. The trouble water, the heat period. The Bible says it is better to marry than to born. Remember the story of Amnon. The Bible says Amnon loved her sister. Actually, that was not love. It was what? Lost. Lost. The hormone was what was secreting him so seriously that he just wanted to deposit somewhere. And we have some girls that are novice. They have taught themselves to, to refuse uh, 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 basket for brothers. Come and drop it here. Come and drop it here. And you take his love. They will fake the love for you. No boy. Listen to this. Go and make research. No boy understands what is called true love until they reach around 28. What they call love is what Amnon also portrayed. They said he fell in love. But actually, was it love? No. And after the whole show, Tio Mo Yeti Wale, the Susan has come down. What happened to him and Papa? He hated her. He hated He hated her. He hated her, brother. Now, long for relief. The girl is longing for admire. But this one is longing for what? Relief. The system, the chemistry is burning. That's why First Corinthians says it's better to marry than to burn. It's like a fire in the body. Quest for girlfriend. He's not girlfriend. Was questing for a sex partner. A sex partner, but you call it what? Girlfriend. Oh, love me. He can be any time I mean, he will just be telling you one lie. If you know you love me, show it, you run me. Because don't throw that out of it, go up here again. No, no, she do. He wants it. And he don't value it. Then the same question, am I normal? Am I different? Should I try it? What are other boys doing? First Corinthians. Uh, first Corinthians. Now, number two is wet dream. Now listen carefully. Boys in the house, if you have had, if you have had wet dream, dream before, can I see your hand? Wet dream, wet dream. Boys in the house, wet dream. Thank God for you. If you have not had it before, let me see your hand. Oh, but don't tell wet dream. Can I see your hand? Listen, that's why you are here. When I passed through this day, let me tell you, I went to the mountain to pray for five days. Because I normally to talk to Oluwa Oku Eshuni. How will I have this? How will this happen to me? God forbid. Do you know the funnest part of the story? I finished the five days. I had the wet dream on the fifth day. <laughs> then I said there is a problem. Because nobody will give me information. So I went to a doctor. He said, sorry, a nurse uh, in our church. And just told me, ah, uh, that is called wet dream. Eh? Wet? Dream. This was this place. So, through that day, that was the only cyber cafe we have, or camp was there. 
So I came here to call you what this all went through. Then I read a lot of things. Uh, I saw the bad, I saw the good, I saw the, the all believers say the uh, solution. I saw the believers say the solution. Since I'm a believer, I follow. That's the reason I'm telling you now. Now, when dream is the true and divine means to offload the accumulated semen in man. God has designed it. It's not necessary sex. So when you have truly you have the one year, you know it's a phony, semen it's a phony. It's true, oh man. But God Himself will offload it. How? A sensational dream of that excite or lead to ejaculation of semen. You just go and you wake up and there is something you release from your system. Eh? A lot of people will cry. It is not an attack if you don't lust after anybody. It's not an attack. I thought it was an attack. It is normal and part of us. God decided that way. Just clean up and move on. But the moment you want to go into pornography, then we hijack this same system for you. Can I use a female? You have sex in the dream and you ejaculate. When it becomes like that, you need to be browsed. I listen to me. So that you understand the fundamental journey to it. Then, passion for sex. That's the thing. My time is off. I just wanted to see this. Stimulus and arousa. That's where you now come into pornography, a lot of things. You want to steer it. Hey, please, let the sleeping dog. Huh? Lies because we won't be able to control it again. The problem people are having today for a good three years, OAU students that I attended to on the issue of masturbation. Masturbation will kill your only PT class, masturbation will kill your only extra year. It's terrible. So, one of the first things that we call is nudity attraction. When that or more compassion for sex is normal, and the body want to see nudity in those days, remember a young boy who be going to pee. You know that you don't understand that word now because you have your phone now. You can see nudity. You know that just want to see the nakedness of opposite sex. It do come like that. It is you that must resist it from the foundation. If you allow it to build up. In your life, it's dangerous. Devil is using it. And that leads to pornography. And pornography is advanced to sex talk. This time, maybe all your friend is talking, or you have a cheese partner, or you'll be talking is sex. Sex. You go on different sites to just say something about sex. You are feeling good at that time. But that good is not good. That good is trap. Which is leading you into, into hellfire. Yes, I'm true. Thank you. The graduate to masturbation and other sexual immorality, either with self or with others. He graduates there. So don't start the fire that you cannot quench. And that is the essence of giving you the fundamental, the basic, the foundation to hate. Now, sorry, 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 sorry. This is where I want you to get this note, and that's where I'm not sure to. The reason why one of the major consequences, the moment you start, is dangerous. Note, if you don't go God's way, you will definitely go Satan's way with what other boys are doing outside. If you don't decide for God that yes, I will not go that way, you will definitely go the other way. You can package it in the church and nobody knows, but it can never last. Because by the time you begin to cry for the consequence, huh? you will be crying in silence, fasting, marathon. Hey, you Because when you give the devil a step to your life, you will ne never take a step. You will run 10 miles to destroy you. So don't give him any step at all. Now, from pornography, to lust, to masturbation, into sex. The journey 
begin with stage one, action stage. We call it try out stage. Hey, shake it Should I do it? Should I do it? Should I do it? So some of your friends, then we just use them to be talking to you. Wow, take your back. Do it now. Do it now. I allow him. Let him talk. Action. Try not. At this time, you can sit back out. Easily. No. That was what Joseph did. I will not do it. If you allow this, if you go to stage two, it becomes habit and character. You find pleasure in doing it. At every time you get involved in it, maybe something just for you, you just want it become habit to you. At that stage, you can still back out. Even with determination, you can still back out. But the moment you leave this stage, your determination won't work any longer. It enters to stage three, which becomes your lifestyle, your nature, your nature. You, you see it as normal thing. Your system is regulated to accept it as part of your life. Your system, but you will be seeing the consequence, even you can ignore it. That is what happened with that second one. Yeah, it's my life. Let anybody say what they want to say. Then, now stage three, stage four, it becomes addiction, unstoppable. Unstoppable. Addiction. You are addicted to it. At that time, even when you realize that it's wrong and you want to stop, you will still be crying like one brother like that. He will cry to Allot's house at Slavery. Oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And those Allot, they are saying, What is more than you? And then I think you're there again. And you say, Ah, we know, we know. And they just quickly run to him. And after having sex with them, you now sit down in front of the place and begin to cry. He need to cry. He came to me, I cancelled him to a lot of me, but we not eat. One day, I was servicing my vehicle in front of that, the adult place, as he was coming. And he saw the vehicle, he saw me. He ran to me. He said, Pastor Joe, please, 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 I don't want to go. I don't want to go to, go to where? This is the place I'm talking about. When he wanted to stop now, but the addiction said no. He want, he want the man to say no at a particular time. But when he entered to a realm, it's very difficult. We have many pastors that are in that thing. They can't even control themselves as pastors any longer. The last one is possession. Then we have one here here. Just can you become my agent? So, you are under evil influence now, serving Satan. They will just take over completely from you and be using you. I pray God will help you. Amen. Evangelist Okocha will come to tell you the way out. And I am telling you this foundation, the consequence. Guard your destiny jealously. Holy Spirit will help you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can we all read this scripture as we go? Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 13 to 14. What to go? Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefined. But warmongers and adulterers God will judge. The meaning of warmonger is fornicator. Fornicator and adulterer, God will judge. So there is eternal warning over your life. Again, sexual immorality, say no. Say no. No. Sexual immorality, no. Sexual impurity, no. Masturbation, no. Lesbianism and gay, no. Fornications, no. Adultery, no. Rape and incest, no. The word is a norm for the wise. Please, you will do something. I will not just knock the microphone. Close your eyes where you are. Close your eyes. Where you are. Devil doesn't joke with you. He knows that your destiny is important in the kingdom and is a threat to his own kingdom. So he's trying to ruin your destiny. I want you to make a decision. As you are sitting there, I'm not calling you out. 